They are the District 4 champions. Their road here at state goes like this. They opened up with a victory over Priest River. They came back from a 9-1 early deficit to beat the Spartans 44-38. to And then yesterday, they got waxed. <laughs> I don't know how other way to put it. I mean, they just got, I, I think, blindsided by Timberlake. 67-44. to uh, the, the Tigers were up by more than 30 in a couple points in the game. Uh, I, I just thought Filer wasn't ready for the pressure that Timberlake brought. And Timberlake didn't play their greatest game in the, their opener over Fruitland. But well, they came back yesterday against Filer and uh, showed why they're the number one team in the state. But the Wildcats still a chance to back up last year's championship with a third-place trophy um, if they can come back and beat Shelley this afternoon. Again, the bracket looks like this. The consolation final won just a few moments ago by Fruitland over Marsh Valley, 53-48 in overtime. And then tonight at 350, the Ford Idaho Center, Timberlake and Sugar Salem will play for the championship in just a few moments. We'll have the tip between Filer and Shelley for the third place game. Let's take a look at our starting lineups. First... For the Filer Wildcats, they'll be the home team. Starters are number 22, Chelsea Reynolds, a 5'11 inch senior. 24, Sidney Bartholomew, forward, a 5'10 inch junior. Point guard is number 25, Sidney Coyle, a 5'3 inch senior. And a 5'10 inch senior, Haley Ackerman, is the other guard. And then in a three guard lineup, you'll also see Megan Hughes, who plays kind of more of a wing guard type position. She's a 5 foot 10 inch junior. The rest of the Wildcat looks like this. Number two is Olivia Thomas. Number three, Haley Schenk. Number 10, Jaden Stoddard. Number 14, Brooke Mason. Number 20, Katherine Farrell. Number 21, Taylor Sharp comes off the bench and provides a punch for Cody Ketterling. She had six points in the opener. Kelsey Tiralamix, number 32. Victoria Dietz, 33, started the first game, but came off the bench yesterday in the loss and hit a couple of three-pointers. And number 34, final player on the roster is Brindley Wells, a 5'9 inch senior forward. For the Shelly Russets, the starters are Hannah Hansen at guard. Also at guard, Callie Brown. And the third guard is Maddie Ball. She can do it all. She's the ball handler. She's a rebounder. She's an assister. She's a 5'10 inch senior. And number 22, Kara Marlowe is a 5 foot 10 inch forward. Marlowe had a great game in the uh, loss. She had 13 points, 8 rebounds, a couple of steals as well, and a couple of block shots in the loss to Sugar Salem. And the big post player for Shelly is Brecklin Hobbs, 6 foot senior, and Shelly had a six point. This is kind of, we talked about some broadcast yesterday, but once Hobbs went out in that game against Sugar Salem yesterday with five fouls with about three or four minutes to go, and they had, Shelly had a six point lead, that's when uh, Sugar was able to get back in because Brooklyn Hobbs had a great game under the boards. Even though she didn't score a lot of points, she uh, did a good job playing defense and had several rebounds in that game. The rest of the team for the Russets, number one is Kenzie Call. Their top player off the bench is number three, Holly Dooley. She had 11 points in the first game and five yesterday. Number five is Meg Gold, a guard, a sophomore. Sophomore number 11, Bailey Bean. Number 12 is Shea Wright, a junior guard. Number 20 is her sister, a junior guard, Brooke Wright, who came off the bench and had 14 points, including four three-pointers in the loss last night. Number 23 is Kylie Ball. And rounding out the lineup, number 33, Jacqueline Wilson. Well, we are ready to go. Time that just right. That's our best intro in terms of timing, and it took us 10 games to get there. Right. <laughs> well, here we go. Starters again for Filer. It's Reynolds, Bartholomew, Coyle, Ackerman, and Hughes. For the Russets, Hanson, Brown, Marlowe, Ball, and Hobbs. And it's 
Reynolds and Marlowe will tip, and Marlowe wins it back into the hands of Ball. Matty Ball will run the show, and it was a short warm-up. It's 11-12 right now. Local time game was supposed to start at 11. Both teams only got about 15 minutes to warm up. So let's see if that has any effect, and maybe both come out a little slow. We have a turnover right there by the Russets. Well, Coach Ketterling almost caught that one. <laughs> He got stone hands. <laughs> oh yeah, we're not supposed to criticize coaches. <laughs> Ackerman's three pointers no good. Bar farm he gets the rebound. Her shot's blocked by Ball. And Breckman Hobbs clears it. Hobbs a senior. Marlow drives, stops, pops on the baseline, doesn't drop. Rebound put back by Ball, and she's fouled. Shelly, a proud tradition of girls basketball. Titles in the 90s and 2000s. Looking for the first in the 2010s. Going to have to come next year, obviously. This is the third place game, but they do have a young team. Callie Brown, Kira Marlowe, Hannah Hansen are all juniors. Brooke Wright, Shea Wright come off the bench and play quite a bit, and they are juniors as well, but they will lose Hobbs, Ball, and Dooley. Trevor Lordi in his first season with the Russets. Ball makes the second, and it's one to nothing, Shelly. Coyle to Ackerman. Ackerman drives. Coyle gets it, puts it up. No good. And Marlow grabs the rebound. Hughes forces to see Here comes Coyle. Ackerman wants it. She's not shy. Fires the three. Short. And out of bounds off of the Russets. Megan Hughes, number 44. Bartholomew, number 24. Chelsea Reynolds, 22. Sydney Coyle, 25. And Ackerman, 30 for Wildcats. Here's Ackerman. Steps in. Gets a little closer. Same result, though. Misses it off the mark. 1-0. Shelly with the lead in the ball. 6.30 to go in the first. This game brought to you by Hard Times Quick Stock. Porterhouse, River Valley Dental Care, and Teton Toyota, along with Beehive Federal Credit Union in the Shelley area, and in Filer Snake River Metal, Filer Mutual Telephone Company, El Toro Mexican Restaurant, and Nick's Excavating. Ball muscles one up. Who's going to get it? Marlow does. No, Brecklin Hobbs check at 32, not 22, and she's going to go to the line. Hobbs misses the first. Well, Nick's excavating has been serving the Magic Valley for more than 20 years. Whether expanding your dairy or investing in wind energy, Nick's gets the job done. Nick's designs and builds irrigation pools, wastewater lagoons, pads, and gravel roads for a variety of projects. Visit nixexcavatinginc.com. That's N-I-X excavatinginc.com. Or give them a call 737-0901 for more details. Nick's excavating proudly sports Filer Athletics and wishes the Wildcats good luck at State. Well, Hobbs Three. missed the second one, but Marlowe got the rebound in the layup. Nice. <laughs> Josh picks me up while I'm reading. Yeah, it's got to pay the bills. Appreciate all our sponsors. Can't say it enough. Without them, we don't do this broadcast. It's that simple. Between all of our great major sponsors and the local folks that come on during tournaments, they make this possible. So we had people listening from the other sides of the world in our first game. That's not possible without all of our local sponsors. So folks in these areas, you heard the list of people I just rattled off. If you need any of those services, please use them. Three to two. 
after the two free throws. There's Marlowe driving in. And she'll be fouled. But that was before the shot. And third foul. Third team foul against Filer. First on Megan Hughes. Taylor Sharp checks into the game for the Wildcats. Marlowe high off the glass. Too strong. And ball tracks it down. Dogged that ball from the start the minute it came off the glass. Filer didn't grab it. And ball tracked it down. Missed. Rebounded by Ackerman. Sharp in there. Number 21. To Dietz. Victoria Dietz. She'll shoot that. Yep. Right on cue. Victoria Dietz off the mark. Boy, and Haley Ackerman thought she'd thrown that off of a rusted as she tried to run that down, but unable to. Looks like she may have stepped a toe on the line before she touched it. Hannah Hansen, number two, has it, had it momentarily. See if they get it to Hansen. She can score. Said it's Marlowe doing a lot of the shooting earlier today. Ball has it. Kicks it back. Ooh. Poor Hanson took it right off the chops. Ball's going to fire the three. Good. 6-2, Shelly. Callie Brown called for the foul. She pressured the ball. Starter's still out there for Shelly. Ketterling's already subbed a couple, three or four players in, but... Trevor Lord I going with the starters for a while here. 4.25 to go. Filer trailing 6-2, but they got the ball. Coyle fires it too strong and rebounded by the Russets. Ball comes out of the pack with it. Hmm. Hansen bobbles. Gets it up top. The to ball. Callie Brown. Want to try to drive baseline. Good job by. Kelsey Jeralnik who's in there playing some nice defense. Good defense there, right there by Jamal Jeralnik. Straight up and down with the hands. Reckman Hobbs dribbles out of the double team, loses the handle, and walked with it. Coils all the way to the 10, but it doesn't go in. 3.30 to go in the first quarter of the girls' 3A real dairy shootout. Third place matchup. Shelly in the black. Filer in the white. Maddie Ball, three-pointer, good. 9-2. to two. And nobody can ball like Maddie. All right, sorry. Josh likes my tacky puns. Word phrases. Rebounded by Marlowe. Here she comes. Weaving past Dietz. Fires one up. Gets her own miss. And count it. 11 to 2. For the second straight day, Filer comes out cold shooting. And their opponent is hot. And a shout out for Brooke and Shay Wright from Caleb Judy. Hobbs, a strong spin to the goal, but she misses it. And Hughes grabs the loose chain, 11 to 2. Shelly up over Filer. Geralnik is fouled as she recovers the ball. A couple of subs now. Wilson and Dooley and Jacqueline number 33, Holly number 3. 
First subs of the game for Trevor Lordi. Dietz with a long three. Rebound put back by Jeralnik. No good. And she'll go to the line. Nick makes the first 11 to 3 cuts into that nine point lead now it's just eight and a Hanson grabs the miss and takes it the other way thinks about driving in and kicks it for Brooke Wright who's in there number 20 nice strong take by ball 13 to 3 Dietz, nice job, good give and go, but Ackerman can't finish. Ackerman gave it up and curled to the hoop down the lane. Nice pass by Dietz. Now Shelly showing some patience and right. She had four, six, and three point land in the semifinal loss. But coincidentally, she missed her first, made her next four, and then missed her sixth. So, I don't know. Right where she left off yesterday. <laughs> Drives you nuts that I remember stuff like that, doesn't it, Josh? A little bit. <laughs> I'm a bit nerdy. Sorry. <laughs> Level 139 to go in the first. We have a timeout on the floor. <clears throat> Shelly up on Filer in the third place game in the 3A tournament. 13 to 3. <laughs> Snake River Metal has been locally owned and operated since 1998 and is a proud supporter of Filer Athletics. Snake River Metal serves contractors and do-it-yourselfers alike with fast, friendly, and knowledgeable service. Whether it's accessories or support, Snake River Metal offers the highest quality steel roofing products in southern Idaho or northern Nevada. Give them a call at 326-4555. Snake River Metal, it's what we do best. And Filer Mutual Telephone Company has supported our youth programs and our community since 1909. As one of Idaho's longest lasting companies, they are committed to providing the best technology, including fiber optics to their rural friends and neighbors. They believe in building a better future for today's youth through tradition and technology. Congratulations, Filer High School athletes. One thirty-nine to go in the period. And a Hanson had right on her left and give it to call Ball on the right. And that's a good shot there by Ball. Another strong take for her. 15 to 3. Ball's come out on fire. Hughes stops, pops, drops. So the junior. Answers for Filer. 15 to 5. Oh, Julie almost had a pocket picked by Hughes, and eventually now Hughes gets the steal. Takes it away from Jacqueline Wilson. Here comes Coyle. She's got Reynolds on her wing. Said she gives it to Sharp, and that's good. Come back now for Filer. 15 to 7. Four straight points for the Wildcats. Look right. Off the mark. Dooley on the mark. 18 to 7. <laughs> 24 seconds to go. Coyle gets fancy behind her back. Dribbling with the left. In the lane. Kick out. Three pointer on the way. Too strong from Bartholomew. Missed everything. And off the Wildcats. 18 to 7. Well, just when Filer showed a little life, Shelley hits his three-pointer. That kind of took the crowd back out of it again. Filer got a little bit more fan support here, a lot shorter distance. Right. Got, even got a student section. Oh, yeah! The bank's open on Saturday to beat the buzzer ball. 
all over it in the first quarter. And it's Shelly 21, and for the second straight day, Filer gets takes a big punch in the first quarter, and they tra trail 21 to 7. We'll go ahead and take a break. We'll be back in just a moment. River Valley Dental Care is a proud supporter of the Shelly Russets. Serving the Shelly Firth area with over 45 years of experience, Drs. Bryce Hansen and Steven Nielsen combine artistry and expertise to create the smile you desire. They offer the latest in technology, including Cerax, same-day crowns, and digital x-rays. Mention this ad and receive a free professional bleaching kit while supplies last. If you're without insurance, join their Shelly Smiles Loyalty Club and receive up to 50% off selected treatments. River Valley Dental Care, 371 West 1st Street, in Shelley. If you're thinking of building a home this year, now is the time to secure financing at Beehive Federal Credit Union. Beehive is the number one mortgage lender in Madison County, and their main goal is to save you money with competitive rates and qualified loan officers. Call Beehive today, 656-1000. Visit beehive.org slash loans. Equal housing lender and MLS number 712470. This game also brought to you by Hard Times Quick Stop, Porterhouse, River Valley Dental Care, and Teton Toyota. Coyle to Ackerman. Ackerman takes it strong, but comes up short. Right to Hanson. 21-point quarter by Shelley. In the first, Dooley. Oh, that was about to pop down, and you could just hear the crescendo starting to come up for the Shelley fans. And then, oh, <laughs> the air was let out when the ball popped out. A discussion here between the referees. See what they do. It. I think they were trying to decide if she was passing the ball or shooting the ball. They did go ahead and say she was shooting okay. it. So I'm wondering, what, what is, neither of them were sure, so they went to the scorer at the table and asked for a third that's opinion. Looks like, yeah. Yeah, that's 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 quality. That's a good referee in right there. And they actually, actually didn't make a call. They talked about it first. The girls all went to the line, but they never actually officially called her to the line. Julie missed them both. And Bartholomew grabs the rebound. Sydney Bartholomew now passes it to Sydney Coyle. The Sydneys. All they need is like a perf on their team, too. <laughs> Off the foot. Uh, 14, Brooke Mason, who just entered the game. She's a three point shooting specialist. Callie Brown back into the game for the Russets. Maddie Call on the bench. Or Maddie Ball, sorry. Maddie Ball on the bench. She had a great first quarter. Marla can score it too, though. Number 22, she has it. Looking for some room. Can't get the screen. Both rights, Shea number 12 and Brooke number 20, twin sisters out there. And there's number three, Dooley with the steal on the air and pass. And we're going to have a foul on the. Yep, foul on Filer. But, Josh? Give me one and one. Oh. Oh, wow, we're already in the bonus. Oh. I got to get, get some second wind here, buddy. <laughs> Ten games in three days. Oh, man. Another conversation at the scorer's table. This one a little longer than the last one.
Oh. This one a lot longer than the last right. one. Is. Yeah. All right. Let's we'll pay some bills. Locally owned and operated in the hard times, Quick Stop has the groceries you need and the treats you want. You'll love their clean stores and their friendly, helpful staff. Hungry? Well, Hard Times Quick Stop has high-quality, large, and personal pan pizzas available for grab and go. Call ahead or take and bake. With three convenient locations, two in Shelly and one in Firth. They are always there when you need them. The whole staff at Hard Times Quick Stop says good luck to the Russets in tonight's game. Located on State Street, Porter House has over 18 years of experience in consulting, occupational and industry safety training, and professional development in the private and government sectors. Through the Shelley Adult Training Academy, Porter House also offers adult education courses geared towards re-entry and advancement into today's workforce. For excellent service at a fair price, give them a call 522-4336 or visit them online at porterhouseinc.com. Porter House is a proud supporter of Shelley Athletics. And go Russets. Well, they got him back out to the, the free throw line and then sent them back to their respective coaches again. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a break while they settle this out with 6.47 to go in the first half. It's all Shelly, 21-7, over five. Looking for a top-of-the-line used car? We stock a vast selection of used cars, trucks, and SUVs. You'll find affordable prices, and our used cars are selected for quality and value. And they must pass a comprehensive inspection. It's easy. We're open when you're ready to shop with extended hours at the dealership or shop online. Because of our large selection, we have the vehicle you want for your next used car. Stop by or call the No Problem folks at Teton Toyota in Idaho Falls. Here at the College of Idaho, you don't just come to class, sit in the back row, and take multiple choice tests. What we do here is we make you think critically. We make you solve problems. We make you write and speak persuasively. It's a holistic type of education here. You're watching the 3A Real Dairy Shootout, only on IdahoSports.com Game Streams. Presented by the Idaho High School Activities Association and the United Dairymen of Idaho. All right, now they're explaining whatever they were talking about to both coaches. I'm listening for the PA there, Josh. I'm trying to hear if they give any explanation of what just happened, but fortunately. I just said a holly dooly up at the line, yeah. so Coach Ketterling getting a big explanation now. We're still talking. Now we find Dooley gets the ball. And she airballs it. <laughs> Long wait, man. <laughs> 21 to 7 after all that. Well, she, Poor that Holly was, Dooley. She really there, got man. iced there. She got iced, man. <laughs> not even, not even Ketterling calling that one. That was the yeah. officials there. Right. So they're doing the right thing, trying to get whatever it was figured out. Ooh. Coyle with a difficult pass off the feet of Ackerman. It's got to be hard, though. You go to the line, then you get taken off of the line. You go right. back to the line, you get taken back off the line. You get back to the line, you still stand there for a little bit. <laughs> you got to go back to the bench. Three-pointer Ackerman, too strong. And here comes Marlowe, streaking down the floor, misses his shot, and it's out of bounds off Filer. Pass to Marlowe. Get it inside. That's Holly Dooley. Nice job by Dooley to free herself for a shot off the mark and a lot of foul. Fouls on 12. Shea Wright. Brook Wright comes out and Brecklin Hobbs back in for the Russets. Russets. 
The Russets, also known saying. as the Russets. That's the Lady Russets. Right. It's like the Rockets, but the Russets. Bartholomew. Weak pass. Grabbed by Ackerman. And Ackerman fights for it, keeps it alive to Coyle at the elbow, stops, pops, doesn't drop off the window. And tracked down by Holly Dooley. And we're going to have a foul. A reaching foul. On Coyle. That's the eighth team foul. That sends Dooley to the line. Like the last two times we've gone to the line, we've had to go to the stores, course table to work something out. Let's see if we can break that string here. All right, so they got everything figured out this time. And the shot, good. Well, that time she was able to get in her rhythm. Grabs the ball, steps up, right toes the line, puts up the free throw, and it was good. Didn't get iced that time. Quick release, good. 23-7. 16-point lead for Shelley. See what kind of fight the 2004 champions have in them. Holly Cooley with the rejection. Shea right up ahead to a cutting Marlowe. Kira Marlowe makes it 25 to 7. Reynolds fighting for it inside. Instead, Bartholomew fires the three. Dooley goes in amongst two Wildcats and gets tied up. Holly Dooley playing hard out there right now, giving a lot of effort. 25 to 7, Shelley with 5.11 to go. 3A third place game between Shelley and the black, Byler and the white. My partner's Josh Byers. My name is Vince Tromboli. Game number 10. The final one here at Skyview High School. Dooley. That would have brought the roof down for Shelly. Game number 11. The 11th game in this tournament. Wing jumper good by Ackerman. Horse at 350. The championship between Timberlake and Sugar Salem. Over at the Ford Idaho Center. I'll be hustling over for that one. I got to do the 5A consolation here in Skyview after this one with Gary Jones. Nice. Are you producing, Josh? I, I'm always producing. Oh, for oh, you're talking for the state the championship Center, game? No. no, I will not be producing no. that one. They got That'll a, be uh, Lauren, and, Lauren and, and Paul, Paul Kingsbury. Kingsbury. The uh, father of IdahoSports.com. <laughs> Holly Dooley makes the first. What are we, as illegitimate six. children? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Speechless. Dooley misses the second. Here comes... Well, it was Brooke Mason off to Ackerman, missed the three. Her shot's been off. Marlowe has it to four on one. Nice pass. Great play there by Shea Wright. Shea Wright was ahead of Marlowe the whole time, and on the other side of the defender, there wasn't a lane, so Marlowe just kept throwing. Shea Wright actually beat the ball down there and just waited patiently for the pass. Good fast break there by the Russets, 28-9. Draw Nick back in, Reynolds out. Maddie Ball, who had a great first quarter, hasn't scored yet in the second. Races it up the floor to Marlowe, muscles one in, and it's taken away by Geraldman. Giving it off to Brooke Mason. Brooke Mason's going to bring it up the floor to Ackerman. Thinks about the three. She's been shooting them at will. Right elbow, that one's off the mark. And who has it? Here comes 
Callie Brown. Inside the ball, trying to get her going in the second quarter. And she'll go to the line to try to earn her first points in this stand. So 28-9, to Shelly with the lead. 3.31 to go in the period. Ball bends and fires too strong off the back iron. Haley Schenk in their number three for the first time. And also in there are Jeralamik, Brooke Mason, Victoria Deeds, and Sydney Coyle. Lane violation on Shelley. Wildcats down 19. Their last game, Fruitland was down 18 and came back and won. So it's possible. Coyle tries to shovel to Drawlmick. And it's stolen away by Hansen. Hannah Hansen. Up top now with it. Fires the three. Good. Hannah Hansen. 31 9. Shelly. First personal on Hanson. Eighth team foul against the Russets. Shank at the line to shoot one and one. And she makes it. No. She crossed the line. Lane violation, yep. She, she had her foot over the line. Sticklers they are, these referees. 31 to 9, 2.53 to go. Ooh, Coyle tries for the steal, knocks it into the backcourt, gets the steal, and then it's taken away by Ball, and Ball reaches in and ties Coyle up. Jump ball. Be Wildcats ball. Wildcats down 21, 31 to 9. They got the ball. Shank. Haley Shank, a five foot six inch junior. We got a three second violate? No. Offensive foul on number. 23. Brindley Wells charged with the personal in the block. Oh, nice passing down low from Hobbs to Brown. But good defensive recovery by the Wildcats. Hanson, second personal. Team foul number nine. Brooke Wright comes back into the game. Coyle makes the first, 31 to 10. 156 to go in the second quarter. Of course, Josh likes to call him a stanza. Rook right angles in, had the ball for a moment, then lost it. Now it's loose on the floor. Mason dives in for it. 
And we have another jump ball. And it's Shelly basketball. Shelly going to run some clock here. Ball finally will fire the three off the mark. Look at Brindley Wells in there. Rip it. Ooh. Getting a little caddy down there. 129 to go. That's C-A-D-Y, Josh. 125. Fowler could sure use a three. Could be a little mini run here to end the half. Getting some momentum going coming out in the third. Well, after opening up, this is certainly not the way Cody Ketterling and the Wildcats expected the rest of their weekend to go to this point. I think everybody was stunned that they got blown out like they did in the late second and third quarter to Timberlake as it was a pretty good game early in that semifinal yesterday evening. But then Timberlake just really put their pet, the foot to the gas and there was nothing Filer can do and Filer again seemingly stunned. As the Russets build a big lead, 31 to 12. Turnaround by Marlowe. That was tough. The turnaround fadeaway J right there. That's one of the bigger time shots we've seen in this tournament. Coyle fouled as she drove up to the hoop. She's so good to line to shoot two. Both teams have 10 team fouls. Coyle makes the first. Chelsea Reynolds in. Brinley Wells out. Or check that. Draw Mick out. Thirty-three to thirteen. Fifty-two seconds to go. Marlowe. Turns again, another tough shot. Off the mark. Here comes Ackerman. She'll fire the three. Short. Way short. Reynolds saves it, but right to Maddie Ball. Here comes Ball with Marlowe. Bounce pass. Oh, nice play. Textbook. Oh, left-hander missed it. But Ball gets it back. Nice pass by Ball. Switched it to the left hand. That was textbook. That was the proper play. Not a lot of kids make that play. They try to still make the pass with their right hand, which is, you know, in most cases, the dominant hand. But you really should switch that to your left to create a better angle for the cutter. And ball doesn't get rewarded with the assist. Marlowe's been making tough shots, but couldn't get that one to go. Ball missed them both at the line. Brindley Wells at the rebound. 19 seconds to go in the half. <clears throat> Ackerman shot blocked by Ball. And Ackerman will go to the line. And she'll shoot three. Well, Snake River Metal has been locally owned and operated since 1998 and is a proud supporter of Filer Athletics. Snake River Metal serves contractors and do-it-yourselfers alike with fast, friendly, and knowledgeable service, whether it's accessories or supports. Snake River Metal offers the highest quality steel roofing products in southern Idaho and northern Nevada. Call 326-4555 to get set up today. Snake River Metal, it's what we do best. And since 1909, Filer Mutual Telephone Company has supported our youth programs and our community as one of Idaho's longest-lasting companies. We are committed to providing the best technology, including fiber optics, to our rural friends and neighbors. We believe in a better future for today's youth through tradition and technology. Congratulations, Filer High School athletes.
And Ackerman knocks all three down, 33 to 15. Third foul on Coyle. Kelly Brown will shoot you. Well, if you want the best Mexican food in Filer, head to the newest and best place in town, El Toro Mexican Restaurant. They opened the doors last September and have quickly become the go-to place for folks craving authentic Mexican food. El Toro has a menu packed with every Mexican dish you can think of, but make sure you try their famous carne asada. Stop in for lunch at 205 Filer Avenue West in Filer. El Toro Mexican Restaurant proudly supports Filer Athletics and wishes the Lady Wildcats good luck at State. 36-15, Dramarlo gets it. Long launch by Ackerman, whoa! Bang! 36-18. Filer gets a little shot of momentum there, near half-court shot. And let's see if Cody Carolyn can turn that into something as the first two stanzas were all Shelly. Trevor Lordi's team came out hot and they kept the pedal to the metal and they lead at 36 to 18. We'll be back with stats and reaction in a moment. You're watching an IdahoSports.com game streams production presented by the United Dairymen of Idaho. Looking for a top of the line used car? We stock a vast selection of used cars, trucks, and SUVs. You'll find affordable prices and our used cars are selected for quality and value and they must pass a comprehensive inspection. It's easy. We're open when you're ready to shop with extended hours at the dealership or shop online. Because of our large selection, we have the vehicle you want for your next used car. Stop by or call the no problem folks at Teton Toyota in Idaho Falls. River Valley Dental Care is a proud supporter of the Shelley Russets. Serving the Shelley Firth area with over 45 years of experience, Drs. Bryce Hansen and Steven Nielsen combine artistry and expertise to create the smile you desire. They offer the latest in technology, including Cerax, same-day crowns, and digital x-rays. Mention this ad and receive a free professional bleaching kit while supplies last. If you're without insurance, join their Shelley Smiles Loyalty Club and receive up to 50% off selected treatments. River Valley Dental Care, 371 West 1st Street, in Shelly. You're watching the 2015 Real Dairy Shootout only on IdahoSports.com Game Streams. Presented by the Idaho High School Activities Association and the United Dairymen of Idaho. I was born on the dairy, raised on the dairy, and so I knew that I always wanted to be a dairy farmer. It's a way of life more than just a business. We really work on the milk quality, and that's our number one goal. A lot of our milk goes into different products that go around the world. We really love our cows, and we spend a lot of time taking care of our cows. The better we treat those cows, the healthier they are, and that's, that's what we're going for. Oh, you caught me in a good mood. I finally got my dream team. AgriService now carries the Rogator 700. It's easy to maneuver with 165 horsepower, great fuel economy, and the smart drive system. Pair that with the bad boy tractors, my massive Ferguson 8600 series, and I got power, comfort, technology, and pure performance that no other tractor can match. You want more information? You go to agri-service.com or visit one of their 10 locations near you. This is my classroom. This is my laboratory. These are my school supplies. This is my study group. And this is my career. North Idaho College. Start here. Go anywhere. They are role models and educators. Their work requires a great deal of time and energy for very little pay. Who are these unsung heroes? Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. The simple truth about education-based athletics in Idaho is this. Without a committed team of coaches and administrators, it just wouldn't be possible. School sports, they bring out the best in all of us. This message presented by the Idaho High School Activities Association and the Idaho Athletic Administrators Association. Hey, common sense. Whoa, why so slow? 
get internet from the phone company. And the more things we turn on, the slower everything goes. No, DSL might have been okay in the past, but not anymore. The more tablets, laptops, and smartphones you have, the more you need the speed of Cable One high-speed internet. Yeah, I think we've reached a new low and slow. Yeah. Cable One, it's just common sense. Congrats. Proud of you. Congratulations. Nice job. Four out of five Idaho adults choose to live life tobacco free. Way to go, Idaho. Visit projectfilter.org or call 1 800 quit now. Good morning, Grin Institute team. What do we got? We're eliminating surprise costs by avoiding jargon between our plans, dentists, and patients. Lovely. Martinez, go. Ease of access. Telephone answer rates down to 12 seconds. Thomas? We're getting Idaho's kids psyched for their very first dental visit. Meet the Grinbot. Maybe I'll keep working on that. Keep perfecting. Partners in lifelong dental care. We're there. <laughs> I'm Daisy Ambrise, and I'm proud to be a Yote. I chose the College of Idaho because I feel like I am in a safe environment with people who really want me to understand the world around me. You get to explore all of these other fields, but you also become an expert in your own. They've helped me develop this love for learning and this love for giving back to my community. I want to be a doctor, and C of I has helped me feel like I can apply to medical school and be competitive. I'm Daisy Ambrise, and I am climbing higher. Hello, I'm Jason Buck. I'm 52 years old and I'm proud to be an Idaho athlete. Very proud to be a graduate of South Fremont High School and play football for Ricks College and on through the NFL. I'm so excited for all of you to be able to play in the Idaho State Tournaments. What a great time in your life. Now I face the challenge of not only being a father, but a grandfather as well and taking care of my health. And now I'm taking Cardio Miracle, the top of the line, nothing out there like it a fantastic product so that I can be with my family for as many years as possible. High interest credit cards breaking your budget? Then break the budget wrecking cycle with a low rate Westmark credit card. Westmark Credit Union. Everything you need. You're watching the 2015 Real Dairy Shootout, only on IdahoSports.com Game Streams. Presented by the Idaho High School Activities Association and the United Dairymen of Idaho. All right, stats now, courtesy of Laureen and Boyd Clark. We're at halftime here at Skyview High School, and it's Shelley 36 to 18 over the Filer Wildcats. First four took it Filer, led by Haley Ackerman with uh, 11 points. And then not too much after that, two for Taylor Sharp, two for Sidney Coyle, two for Megan Hughes, and one for Kelsey Geralnik. With the rebounds. Shelly out rebounded him in the first half alone, 39 to 14. Maddie Ball has a double double already in the first half, 14 points, 12 rebounds for Shelly. 10 points, 9 rebounds for Kira Marlowe. 6 points for Holly Dooley. 3 points for Hannah Hansen. 2 for Shea Ride. And a single point for Callie Brown. Just 7 turnovers uh, for Shelly. In fact, Filer only has 3 turnovers, but they can. Having a hard time shooting just 15% from the field. 4 of 26, 13 of 33 for Shelly, 39 points. But the big story is offensive rebounds, 15 for Shelly and just 2 for the Lady Wildcats. Shelly's had a lot of second chance points. In fact, uh, they, have, they lead the second chance points 15 to 0, and that's really been the difference. 15 to 0 in second chance points, and they've made uh, five three pointers. Which, even if you're shooting 39%, if you're five of nine from three point land, <clears throat> you're gonna 
always come out ahead when you're making threes instead of twos, even at a lesser percentage. There's been no lead changes and no ties as the Russets have led the entire way, and their largest lead was 31-9, a 22-point advantage at that point. Um, and Shelly also had a 16-2 run to open the game. Well, there's been an upset of sorts over at the Idaho Center already today. The Richfield Tigers Ooh, knocked Dietrich. off the Dietrich Blue Devils. Wow. Dietrich were four-time straight state champions, I believe. And I know, Josh. Richfield me knocks them off. That up. Yep, four-time. And Richfield actually had won two, pre, uh, two prior to that. So they won in 2009, 2010, and Dietrich won 2011 and 2014. And Richfield took the title back. Uh, so an excellent game over there. It should be on to the 1A D1s now. Well, this game brought to you by Beehive Federal Credit Union, Hard Times Quick Stop, Porterhouse, River Valley Dental Care, and Teton Toyota and Shelley. In Filer, Snaker for Metal, Filer Mutual Telephone Company, El Toro Mexican Restaurant, and Nix excavating. All right, here we go. Well, in our consolation final earlier today, it was Fruitland that came back from 18 down to defeat. Uh, excuse me, from 18 down to beat Marsh Valley. Can Filer pull off a similar trick here? Well, they get the gonna, turnover to right. start the first seven seconds, so that's a good start. Marlowe loses the handle and then reaches in and fouls. Ball making it hard to get it in. Hughes takes it up the floor for Filer. Thoralamy goes to the baseline, drives, kicks it out. Wing three for Ackerman, too strong. And Hannah Hansen grabs the rebound. Ball. He was hot in the first half. Marlowe. Too strong. Ackerman tracks down the loose ball. 7-18 to go. 36-18. Still our halftime score. Wildcats down. Hughes short. Hansen plucks it. They got a three on two if they hurry. Instead, Hansen wisely backs it out and then is fouled from behind by Sydney Bartholomew. She's running down the floor. Actually, check that. That sharp 21 is starting the half. Brown, ball inside Marlowe at the elbow, gets the hole. Boy, that touched the rim about five times before it decided to drop. 38-18, 20-point lead. Well, Marlowe just seems to kind of have the touch today. Because everything she, she puts up towards the hoop is right on target. Hughes will go to the line. Fouled by Marlowe, her third. Marlowe's got 12 now in the game. Hughes has just two points. Ends and fires. Make it three. 38 to 19. Timberlake had that big, or uh, excuse me, uh, Marsh Valley had that big lead on Fruitland, and they came out and made the first basket of the half, and then Fruitland just took over after that point, and we're going to have a lane violation on the Twilo Wildcats. You know me, I'm superstitious, so. <laughs> Can we have the same thing here, Josh? Holly Dooley starting the game. They're starting the half out on the floor versus coming off the bench for Trevor Alordi. Nice ball movement. Ball wide open. Too strong. And the rebound snared by Callie Brown. Over to Ball. Ball drives into the paint. Loses the handle. And it's tied up by Chelsea Reynolds.
Matthews bringing the ball up across the timeline. Drives right down the middle, passes it off. An easy basket there for Sidney Bartholomew. 38-21. Just 17 points now, this lead for Shelley. Hanson weaving. Has the pass tipped away. Everybody's on the floor. Amrav travel. Hanson travels with it. Hughes up the floor with it. 5.23 to go in the third. Bartholomew scores. 38 to 23. Bartholomew scored the last four points for the Wildcats. Swung around, kicked back out. Steps in and scores. Hannah Hansen ends the final run at 40 to 23. 17 point lead. Ball out off of Callie Brown. Stays Wildcats ball. Bounded to Katie Hughes. Hughes to Reynolds. Reynolds shot short. Ball brought up by the Russets. Callie Brown. Into the corner. Now into Brecklin Hobbs. Hobbs travels, picks up her pivot foot. It is called for the travel. Coming into the game, Kelsey Jerelemek and Victoria Dietz. Back into the game for the Wildcats. Katie Hughes bringing the ball up the court. Kicks it to Sharp. Sharp tries to get it in down low to Jerelemek, but unable to, stolen away there. Swung around the top, Callie Brown with it. Kicks it out here to Dooley. Dooley over to Hanson. Hanson shot fake up and blocked from behind. Getting that block was Allie Ackerman. And now coming into the game, Sydney Coyle. Inbounded to Dooley. The score is 42-23. Ball with the steal. Here she comes the other way. Lays it up off the side of the rim. 42-23. Shelly with the ball. And the 19-point lead. Third quarter. Crossover driven by Dooley. Brown fires the long two. Both feet were on the line. Here comes Sidney Coyle for Filer. Filer trying to make a run, but every time they get a little momentum, Shelly comes right back. Anna Hansen with the rebound, and she'll take it up the floor. Got Dooley off to her right. And that's who she's going to find. Fires the three. Good. Holly Dooley. Boyle spins, 45 to 23. Another steal for the Russets. Relentless pressure. Oh, the pass up ahead for Callie Brown. Too much, out of bounds. Shout out here. Let's go, Lady Cats from Hallie and Ashlyn. And Matty Ball is the bomb from your biggest fan, Anna Lee Judy. So thank you for sending those in. Coyle over to Sharp, 
<clears throat> Looking inside for Drolnik. <laughs> Coyo fires the two and ball grabs it. Dooley, the hot hand right now. Shelly's been aggressive this whole game. Taking quick shots if they're good looks. Jacqueline Wilson to right to the Callie Brown. Tooley, it's another three. He said, no, he said two. Okay, I couldn't see the fingers by the ref. It was an odd angle. So it's a two-pointer. Foot was on the line 47 to 23. Largest lead of the game for Shelly now, 24 points. <clears throat> Been a tough couple of days for the Wildcats. Errant pass there, grabbed by Victoria Dietz. Ball fake, Ackerman gets to the baseline, floater, no good. And it's Bright that gets the rebound and is fouled. It'll be the second team foul. And the second foul on Ackerman. Her second personal. Callie Brown comes out of the game, gets a low five from her coach. Right, Brooke Wright firing the three, good. Shelly pouring it on now, 50 to 23. I didn't even think the net moved on that one, it was so clean. <laughs> That's her fifth three-pointer in the tournament. Ackerman glides in and scores, nice move there. Took the pass from Coyle, didn't bother putting the ball on the floor, took it straight to the hole. Under a minute left here in the third quarter of play. 50 to 25. Fox stops at 50.1. We'll go to the line. Located on State Street, Porter House has over 18 years of experience in consulting, occupational, and industry, industrial safety training and professional development in the private and government sectors. Through the Shelley Adult Training Academy, Porter House also offers adult education courses geared towards re entry and advancement into today's workforce. For excellent service at a fair price, call 522-4336 or visit them online at porterhouseinc.com. Porterhouse is a proud supporter of Shelly Athletics and go Russets. Well, if you're thinking of building a home this year, now is the time to secure financing at Beehive Federal Credit Union. Beehive is the number one mortgage lender in Madison County, and their main goal is to save you money. With competitive rates and qualified loan officers, call Beehive today at 656-1000. Visit beehive.org slash loans. Equal housing lender, NMLS, number 71-2470. Coil, Hughes, back to Coil. Left dribble, stolen away momentarily by Dooley. Right into the hands of number 32, Kelsey Jeralimek, and she goes to the line strong. If you want the best Mexican food in Filer, head to the newest and best place in town, El Toro Mexican Restaurant. They opened their doors last September and are quickly becoming the go-to place for folks craving great Mexican food. El Toro Mexican Restaurant's menu is packed with every dish you can think of, but make sure you try their famous carne asada. Stop in for lunch or dinner at 205 Filer Avenue West in Filer. El Toro Mexican Restaurant proudly supports Filer Athletics and wishes the Lady Wildcats good luck at State. Jarellebeck hits them both from the line. 51 to 27, 25 seconds to go. Right. And two right sisters in there, number 12 and 20. Shea's 12, books 20. Dooley to Shea, right? Ooh, errant pass. And it's picked off by Dronolimic with 1.1 seconds to go in the quarter. <clears throat> Shelly would have been better served just to force one up. I think they were hoping right would shoot that, and she tried to make the extra pass. Ackerman, remember, beat the buzzer at just before half with about a 35-footer. And Coyle's just going to dribble it out and not even take a shot. So after four periods of play, it's 51 to 27. All Shelly. You're watching an IdahoSports.com Game Streams production.
River Valley Dental Care is a proud supporter of the Shelley Russets. Serving the Shelley Firth area with over 45 years of experience, Drs. Bryce Hansen and Steven Nielsen combine artistry and expertise to create the smile you desire. They offer the latest in technology, including Cerax, same-day crowns, and digital x-rays. Mention this ad and receive a free professional bleaching kit while supplies last. If you're without insurance, join their Shelley Smiles Loyalty Club and receive up to 50% off selected treatments. River Valley Dental Care, 371 West 1st Street, in Shelley. Looking for a top of the line used car? We stock a vast selection of used cars, trucks, and SUVs. You'll find affordable prices, and our used cars are selected for quality and value. And they must pass a comprehensive inspection. It's easy. We're open when you're ready to shop with extended hours at the dealership or shop online. Because of our large selection, we have the vehicle you want for your next used car. Stop by or call the No Problem folks at Teton Toyota in Idaho Falls. Shelly up 51-27 to 27 as we start the fourth quarter and the Russets have the ball. Kylie Bell, number 23, out there for Shelly along with Holly Dooley. This is Shea Wright. Number 33, Jacqueline Wilson in there, too. Brooke Wright with the ball, number 20. Russ, it's going to run some clock. They get it inside to Wilson. Spinning, triple team, got to get rid of it. Bell, ball. Finally got it, three for uh, Shelly, but Coyle with the steal. She takes it coast to coast, but can't finish. And this is Kylie Ball. Maddie Ball's sister younger sister just a junior Ooh, hot pass there and we'll have a couple of starters back into the game for Shelly Marlo and Brecklin Hobbs Allie Ackerman also comes in for the Wildcats to Haley Ackerman. Ackerman with the three. Good. 51 to 30. Stranger things have happened. 21 point Shelly lead. Ooh, Dooley was cutting and Marla was dribbling. She needed to make a pass there. And Filer gets the ball back on the turnover. Jump ball. Sharp off the mark. Coyle fights for it, and it's wrestled free by the Russets. Oh, steal by Haley Ackerman. Loses control, gets it back. Coyle to Ackerman, tracks it down. Kaduli tipped it away. Six minutes to go. Coyle drives. Matty Ball. Back in the game. Brooke Wright comes out, as does Kylie Ball. Coyle drives baseline, stops, pulls up, little shovel shot. Kept alive for a second by Hughes, still on the floor. And, ooh! Ackerman reaching back for it. Nailed ball hard in the side of the face. Ouch. It was a complete accident, but caught her pretty flush. Oh, and he calls a jump ball. The ball appears to be okay. Here's the call, though. 
the, the, the jump ball was already established before what we saw happen there. That was just an accident as they both kind of pulled their hands off the ball. So it's a jump ball in the possession arrow favors the Russ. It's 51-30 with 5.48 to go. Brooke Wright comes into the game. Ooh, Hughes oh, almost with the steal and out the four on two. Julie's shot too strong. Hughes with the rebound. Haley Ackerman is going to fire the three pointer short and she's fouled and she'll go to line to shoot three. Well, locally owned and operated, the Hard Times Quick Stop has the groceries you need and the treats you want. You'll love their clean stores and their friendly, helpful staff. Hungry? Well, the Hard Times Quick Stop has high-quality, large and personal pan pizzas available for grab-and-go, call-ahead, or take-and-bake. For three convenient locations, two in Shelly and one in Firth. They're always there when you need them. The whole staff at Hard Times Quick Stop says good luck to the Russes. Nick's Excavating has been serving the Magic Valley for more than 20 years. Whether expanding your dairy or investing in wind energy, Nick's gets the job done. Nick's designs and builds irrigation pools, wastewater lagoons, pads, and gravel roads for a variety of projects. Visit nixexcavating.com. That's N-I-X, excavatinginc.com. Or call them at 737-0901 for more details. Nick's Excavating proudly supports Filers Athletics and wishes the Wildcats good luck at State. That's Nick's, N-I-X excavating inc inc.com well, that was the fifth foul on brooke wright so she fouls out of the game she made two or three well they didn't need brooke wright's three pointers today oh pass valid pass behind coil and turnover gives it back to the russets Shelly looking inside. They got Hobbs. Oh, she's been pretty quiet. It's been all Marlowe and Ball today. Hobbs oh, goes to the rack. Strong. Gets the foul. And she'll shoot two. 51-32. Shelly up. 5.05 to go in the third place game of the girls. 3A real dairy shootout. Game number 10 of the tournament. Josh Byers and Vince Tromboli on the call. Been a good tournament. Uh, some good games, a lot of close action, tight action, a couple overtime games. Chelsea Reynolds out, Jerolimic in there. And the rebound by Bartholomew, number 24, under five minutes to go now. Hughes gets a screen from Ackerman, takes it all the way in, and is fouled. Second foul on Hobbs. Hughes makes the first one. Hobbs fouled out in the semifinal loss to the Diggers of Sugar Salem. That was kind of a turning point in the game, too, unfortunately for Shelly. Once they lost her interior defense, that's when Shelly started pounding the ball inside to Stacey Roberts and got some buckets to erase the six-point deficit that they were facing. And eventually they tied it, took it in overtime, and Shelly, or uh, Sugar Salem won it. The shot, strong take by Julie. She's having a nice game. Dooley's a five foot eight inch senior. What a good tournament. Eleven points in the first game. A little quiet yesterday, but over double digits now in this one. It's nice but if you're a coach like Trevor Lordi and you can bring this in that kind of quality player off your bench. Oh Marlowe. Rebound putback is good. 
Schimmel was headed back into the locker room after making she, that. She stumbled five feet out of bounds after muscling that one up. Luckily not the fallers up. Oh, Coyle takes it in and count it. 55 to 35. Coyle looking for the three-point play here. Misses that. Rebounded by Marlowe. Gets it out to Callie Brown. And Marlowe at the elbow. Back out to Brown. Brown with it. Brecklin Hobbs spins and another foul. 3.55 to go. 55, 35 still. Shelley's lead. No, get the ball down under the baseline. Just the 16 foul on Filer. Matty Ball in and Hannah, Lar Hannah Hansen out. Brindley Wells in for Filer. Drawing the out. Oh, Hughes almost steals it. Now she can't get her on her horse and track it down. No. Shelly basketball. 3.52 to go. Marlowe, baseline shot. Off the mark. Rebounded by Coyle, then she has it, oh. That ball had it cleanly, but they call her for the foul. Tenth team foul, and we're in the double bonus now. Every time Filer goes to the line, they'll shoot two. Coyle. Coils up and fires, 55-36. Victoria Dietz in for Filer. Sydney Bartholomew out. So it's Wells, Dietz, Coyle, Haley Ackerman, and Megan Hughes out there for the Wildcats. Coyle makes them both. Filer playing better in this quarter for sure, but a little too late. Dooley up. Muscles it up, and the rebound by Hughes. Shelly still playing it very aggressively, not letting the foot off the gas pedal of the, in the slightest. Not worried about running clocks. Still playing their game. Hughes shots off the mark. Sometimes, Josh, I think uh, teams tend to, you know, get complacent or, you know, it's kind of like the prevent defense in football. Sometimes it comes back, comes back to bite you. And in a way, that's kind of what Marsh Valley did in our previous game. But here's Shelley staying aggressive, continuing to play their game, which is get the ball down the floor, run if you can, and then dump the ball in quickly, take a quick shot. And that's kind of their game. And they haven't gone away from it. And they've continued to maintain this lead. Filer's playing better, but they're still scoring. And Filer can't catch up. Hobbs misses the free throw. 55-37, under three minutes to go. The third place game of the girls' 3A real dairy shootout. Got a great crew here at Skyview that's been helping us for this entire tournament. Appreciate their hospitality. The tournament directors are Jared Wang and Eric Bonds of Skyview. And then Laureen and Boyd Clark have been great stats folks for us. Not only do they keep the stats and give us a sheet at half and after every game, but they actually walk it up to us, which makes it really easy on us so uh, we can focus on our job, and and their help has been incredible, and we appreciate everything that they've done for us here at Skyview. This game brought to you by Snake River Metal, Filer Mutual Telephone Company, El Toro Mexican Restaurant, and Nick's Excavating. Also brought to you by BI Federal Credit Union, Hard Times Quick Stop, Porterhouse, River Valley Dental Care, and Teton Toyota. Taylor Sharp and Chelsea Reynolds come back in for the Wildcats. Oh, 
Dooley misses that one, 56 to 37. Foul, and I think it was Brecklin Hobbs. Hobbs. All right, so her third. Uh, Haley Ackerman to the line. She's working on a good individual game here. Got 11 points at the half, including that three pointer to beat the buzzer. Cody Ketterling is going to take a timeout with 2.33 to go. It's 56 to 37. Shelly, we'll be back in just a moment. Oh, you caught me in a good mood. I finally got my dream team. AgriService now carries the Rogator 700. It's easy to maneuver with 165 horsepower, great fuel economy, and the smart drive system. Pair that with the bad boy tractors, my massive Ferguson 8600 series, and I got power, comfort, technology, and pure performance that no other tractor can match. You want more information? You go to agri-service.com or visit one of their 10 locations near you. Good morning, Institute team. What do we got? We're eliminating surprise costs by avoiding jargon between our plans, dentists, and patients. Lovely. Martinez, go. Ease of access. Telephone answer rates down to 12 seconds. Thomas? We're getting Idaho's kids psyched for their very first dental visit. Meet the Grinbot. Maybe I'll keep working on that. Keep perfecting. Partners in lifelong dental care. We're there. <laughs> Ackerman short on the front end of the one and one. And Filer's not fouling. They're just playing this straight up. Coil tips the ball away. They're trying to get the steal. Reynolds in there, number 22. Brindley Wells, 34 in there for Filer. And now we have a foul. As Ackerman commits the infraction at 2.15 to go in the game. Ball to the line, but Shelly up 56-37. And lane violation. That's it, that was the front end of one one The ball's got a little hitch in that free throw, and I think it's thrown a couple people yeah, off so yeah, far. We've got, yeah, we've seen a couple of those. Coyle's going to step in and fire the three. Too strong. And the rebound snared by Marlowe. And she gets the pass over to Dooley. Three on one. Coyle pokes it away. And it's Shelly basketball, 158 to go. Job there by Coyle, knocking it back away. They were looking for Brecklin Hobbs right underneath the basket. Dooley, Dooley pivots. Kicks Out, it out to Marlowe. Outside to Marlowe. Sorry about that, though. Ball. Gonna run some clock. 146. Now I think Shelly will take the foot off it a little bit. Up 19 with just 141 to go. No reason to do anything here but run clock. And I think Filer knows what the end result will be, so they're not gonna. No call there. The refs are just going to try to let him play it out unless it's really blatant like that one. Where Dooley got knocked down. Snake River Metal. It's what we do best in the Filer area. Call them at 326-4655. And how about Filer Mutual Telephone Company? One of Idaho's longest lasting companies. Been a supporter of ours for a long time and been around since 1909. El Toro Mexican Restaurant in Filer at 205 Filer Avenue West. And Nick's Estivating, proud supporter of Filer Athletics. Give him a call at 737-0901. Beehive Federal Credit Union, beehive.org slash loans. And the three-pointer's good by Coyle. Hard times, quick stop in Shelly. Great place to get a pizza that's great on the go. 
And Porterhouse is a proud supporter of Shelly Athletics. It's porterhouseinc.com to learn more about their consulting and occupational and industry, industrial safety training skills. Also want to thank River Valley Dental Care and Teton Toyota. Callie Brown to the line to shoot two. Wells, sharp, one minute to go in the game. Coyle, going to fire another three. That one's too strong. The senior's going to hit as many cracks at it as she can. And Brecklin Hobbs gets tangled up with Ackerman. And that'll send Hobbs to the line. Number five, May Gold. And number 11, Bailey Bean set the check in along with 33, Jacqueline Wilson for Shelley. They'll get to play the last minute of the game. 11 and five, Gold and Bean are two players we haven't seen in the game yet. At all during the tournament. Julie and Ball get a big round of applause as they come out. A couple of seniors there in their yep. last game. Hobbs fires it up, no good, 59 to 40. One minute to go. Ackerman stops, pops, short. Ooh. They're going to have another foul offensively by, or a foul on Filer. Bean will get a chance to score some points in the state tournament. And a sophomore forward. And a big round of applause for Brecklin Hobbs, the other senior who comes out of the game. There are only three seniors on Shelley's roster, Dooley. Ball and Hobbs, congratulations to them as they'll end their careers with the third place trophy. Not a bad way to go out at all. Bailey Bean's first one off the front iron. Everybody wants to see this one go down. The place will erupt if she makes it. Oh, she gets the roll and you can hear the Shelly fan. They like to see that. 45 seconds to go. 60 to 40. Haley Shank in there, number three. Ackerman can't get the shot to go off of a couple of players and eventually into the hands of Wilson. And Hannah Hansen is going to bring it up the floor. May Gold's giving her some screens. And Gold's going to fire a long shot from the elbow. Saved by Filer with 10 seconds to go. And then we have a reach-in foul. <laughs> it's always fun to watch the kids get in there that don't get a play, you know. They're a lot of excited. energy. Yeah, yeah, a lot of energy. And you just feel good for them, right? You know they've been out there sweating in practice and they don't get to play in the games, but they're a part of the team, too. A big part of the, the team, and it's always neat to see them get a chance to play. Love how the crowd reacts. It's such a tremendous feel and sportsmanship in a gym when you know everyone's rooting for a kid and really pulling for him. It says a lot about these communities, too. 60 to 42. And a Hansen is going to do the honors and kill the clock. And the Shelly Russets defeat Filer 60 to 42 this afternoon to claim the 3A Girls Real Dairy Shootout third place trophy. Well, they'll quickly have the uh, presentation down there on the floor, and we'll keep it uh, here and allow you to watch. The trophy presentation soon after the two teams exchanged handshakes down at center court.
Shelley will end the season with a, a record of 17, 17 and 11. Oh, thank you. 17 and 11. Filer drops to 18 and 11 on the season for their overall record. Let's go ahead now and let Jared Wang, the tournament director here at Skyview High School, hand out the third place trophy. First of all, we'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate the Filer Wildcats on the outstanding season and their state tournament performance. The gentleman half court tournament director Jared Wayne holds the third place trophy. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the United Jerryman of Idaho and the Idaho High School Activities Association, we very proudly present the 2015 3A third place state girls basketball tournament trophy to the Russell to Shelley High School. So Brecklin Hobbs goes and leads her team out there to get the third place trophy for the Shelley Russets. They pose for some photos down there with that nice green trophy that you see there. Congratulations to the Russets. Trevor Lordy in his first season leads the Gals to the third place trophy and they win it by the final of 60 to 42. Let's take it the stats. First for the Wildcats, Haley Ackerman led them with 20 points, four rebounds, nine points for Sydney Coyle, four for Sydney Bartholomew, two for Taylor Sharp, four for Megan Hughes, and three for Kelsey Geralmi. For the victorious Shelly Russets. How about this? 64 rebounds in the game. Out rebounded by their 64 to 28. Really imposed a will underneath. Led by Kira Marlowe with 14 points, 15 rebounds. 14 points, 14 rebounds for Maddie Ball. Two double doubles in one game. Holly Dooley with 14 points and four rebounds. Four points for Brecklin Hobbs. Three for Brick and Shay Wright each. This twin sisters. Five points for Hannah Hansen. Two for Callie Brown. And one for Bailey Bean. All right, as always, I'd like to thank our sponsors. This game brought to you by the United Dairymen of Idaho, Idaho High School Activities Association, Cable One TV, Phone and Internet, Agri-Service Farm Equipment, Delta Dental of Idaho, Westmark Credit Union, College of Idaho, Project Filter, North Idaho College, and CardioMiracle.com. Let's take a quick break, and we'll come back with our CardioMiracle.com player of the game. Hello, I'm Jason Buck. I'm 52 years old, and I'm proud to be an Idaho athlete. Very proud to be a graduate of South Fremont High School and play football for Ricks College and on through the NFL. I'm so excited for all of you to be able to play in the Idaho State Tournaments. What a great time in your life. Now I face the challenge of not only being a father, but a grandfather as well and taking care of my health. And now I'm taking Cardio Miracle, the top of the line, nothing out there like it, a fantastic product so that I can be with my family for as many years as possible. All right, the IdahoSports.com player of the game presented by CardioMiracle.com is Kira Marlowe. Big game. We could have given it to a couple different players, but Kira Marlowe, 14 points and 15 rebounds to lead the Russets to the third-place trophy as they win it by the final of 62-42. Well, don't forget to buy your game CD for just $14.95 and made the memories made this afternoon last a lifetime. Order your CD by clicking on the banner on the top right side of your video players. Special thanks to all the folks here at Skyview High School, our tournament directors, Jarrett Wang and Eric Bonds, along with Lauren and Boyd Clark. Incredible stats, people have been bringing us stats all game, and it really helps add to our broadcast, and we appreciate their support and their hospitality. Well, this has been a presentation of IdahoSports.com Game Streams Production, brought to you by the Idaho High School Activities Association and the United Dairymen of Idaho. Again, the final Shelley 60 and Filer 42 in the third place game. And still to come in this tournament today, 350 at the Ford Idaho Center, the Timberlake Tigers taking on the Shelly Russets, a battle of number one versus two for the 3A girls championship. Well, it's been a pleasure. 
My partner, Josh Byers, is going to stick around for one more game. He's got a consolation game in the 5A. But uh, I'm going to take off and head over to the Idaho Center. So, Josh, it's been fun doing this with you again, man. I'll see you for the boys 2A. Yeah, we'll be doing 2A here in just a couple of weeks over at Capitol High School. It should be a lot of fun. Always a lot of excitement over there. And it's been a great weekend this weekend, Vince. Thanks for doing it with us. Oh, yeah, it's been my pleasure, Josh. Uh, we've become good friends over the years doing this together. And I'll see you in a couple of weeks over at Capitol High School. For my partner, Josh Byers, my name is Vince Tremoy. Remember, folks, do your best because when you do your best, you always get the best in return. Good afternoon, everybody. This has been a presentation of IdahoSports.com Game Streams brought to you by the United Dairymen of Idaho. This broadcast is copyrighted to IdahoSports.com. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or other use of this broadcast without the expressed written consent of IdahoSports.com is strictly prohibited.